Hey, how the hell is it going? It's Art Rich Studio here. I'm drawing Faye Valentine today from Cowboy Bebop. And, I, well, I actually got the pencils done already. So, uh, I'm using Copic Marker now. Uh, going around the contour of the figure. Uh, this is a really good idea. Go around the contour with a thicker pen. And the thick line will make it pop out. Um, this is obviously the first step. So, you aren't really going to be able to tell until I you know break out my dip pen do the fine details but having the thicker line going around the outside thinner line for the details separates the figure from anything else that might be on the page now, in this case it's just a single character but it's going to make a difference um, so yeah felt like drawing Faye Valentine uh, just because I love Cowboy Bebop and I saw a little bit of news uh, regarding the Netflix show uh, Netflix, I love Netflix, but their anime adaptations tend to be disappointing. Um, the actual anime they make is, is pretty good, but their anime, their live action adaptations of anime such as Full Metal Alchemist and Bleach kind of sucked. Uh, but that's, that's what happens when you try to make a movie about a 50 episode series and an ensemble cast. You try to cram it all into an hour and a half, you know? So, um, let's talk about Full not Full Metal Alchemist. Let's talk about Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Bebop, you know, the main guy, uh, Spike Spiegel, is being played by John Cho, and he had a knee injury last year. And it looks like he was ready to return to work and start filming in December or January. And then the whole COVID thing happened. So, unfortunately, production was put off again, obviously. Um, obviously, nobody was going back to work and filming during the whole COVID thing. So, it sounded like they had three episodes filmed and completed. And it's going to be a ten, ap ten episode season. So, that's really exciting. They were trying to do an hour and a half film about, you know, uh, a series. Even though Cowboy Bebop is significantly shorter than Full Metal Alchemist. I think Cowboy Bebop was only 12 episodes and a movie. 12 episodes and a movie. But, yeah, so here I am with the dip pen. I'm doing the detail in the hair. I love hatching, and even though it's not a typical, I don't know, I want to say trope or, or style choice in anime and manga to, to hatch or do cross hatching, I, I love it, and I can't, I can't get rid of it. I grew up looking at Jim Lee and uh, all the American 90s comic book artists with their over-rendering and detail. Um, I, I love it. I love the look, and I love combining the two different uh, inspirations and styles. Uh, one of my favorite artists who does this is Joe Mad. Joe Mad or Joe Madrera uh, is a fantastic artist, and he's worked on uh, the Avengers and X Men. He's kind of a prod prodigy. He started working in comic books at the age of seventeen, and man, if you look at that stuff, it was wow. I mean. It, it's inspirational and influential, and he's really doing something new at the time. But if you look back at it now, you're like, ooh, how'd he get hired doing this? <laughs> it's it's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, I mean, and since then, he did Battle Chasers, the comic book. And then he went to working in video games, and now he made a video game based on his original comic book. So he's really influential and really... Uh, he does whatever the hell he wants. That, that's He's a boss. <laughs> Just goes around doing whatever he wants. He doesn't care what people say. So, um, but anyway, let's go back to talking about the Netflix show. Uh, it looks like the initial release date was for uh, the second quarter of 2020. Obviously, that's not going to happen. But what most likely will happen is, I mean, the earliest we can expect is the summer of 2021, unfortunately. So, that's a shame. Damn it, John Cho. I just had to go and bust your knee. And apparently it was on like a pretty well-rehearsed kind of common stunt in, uh, in action shows that he ended up putting his knee on. But, hey. I'm uh, pretty happy with the casting, even though it seems like there's a lot of controversy going on around it for some reason about whitewashing. Uh, I'm a little confused. I don't know why that was why that's a controversy regarding this show. I mean, you have John Cho playing Spike Spiegel. You have, uh, oh boy, I'm forgetting her name. She's from Jurassic World. She's a Latina playing Faye Valentine. 
and you have uh, again I don't remember his name is the black dude and he's playing um, playing the other guy Jet black dude's playing Jet now that's not you know racially accurate to the show but I don't see a problem with it I think it's going to be fine so I don't know who's playing Edward that's going to be an interesting one so, I don't know what the problem is with the whitewashing or what, where that even came from. But, there are some credible cases for whitewashing in, uh, in these anime adaptations. Um, like, Dragon Ball Z was a very clear one where they probably shouldn't have done that. It wasn't even a good, good casting move. Uh, Avatar, that was obviously a clear... I mean, it's it's one thing when it's a really bad casting job. It would, it would be a different thing if there was, like, you know, they were casting good actors to play, you know, some characters that used to be Asian. You know, I'd have a pro problem with Scarlett Johansson playing uh, Motoko Kusanagi in Ghost in the Shell. My problem was with everything else in Ghost in the Shell. N nothing was done right. Nothing. So, so here I am. I'm pretty much finished with the dip pen. Going back in with this uh, thicker Copic, filling in the solid black areas. Uh, that strap, I was planning on just doing the hatching, and obviously it didn't work well. Just kind of blending in with the other hatching around there that I did on the leg to push it further back in space. So, filling that in solid black, solid black areas on the jacket. And uh, you can see I have a smudge mark there on the, on the bag from when I erased. So, I'm going to go back in with the whiteout, fix that up. Um, the shoes. I feel like I did a really good job with the shoes and the feet. Uh, I am pretty good at drawing feet. I just felt like that's a weakness. And at some point, I was just like, I got to work on this. Nobody else is good at drawing feet. So I'm going to set myself apart a little bit and really just nip this in the butt. I don't want to be so afraid to draw something that I never draw it. So I work on hands and I work on feet a lot. So anyway... Uh, that's pretty much it. That's all I got to say. If you have uh, any comments, news, and opinions... On, uh, on this, comment, like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. Thank you.